Hey everybody, Brandon Mason here with Eastman's Hunting Journals. I'm at the end of the hunting season and at the end of a hunting trip where I was successful, so it's time to wash some gear. I see that width and I just go bonkers, so. Down to just about freezing. Over the years, I've tried a million different things. I've tried hand washing, I've tried aggressive detergents, I've tried non-aggressive detergents, uh, scent-free detergents, so on and so forth. And what our crew seems to keep coming back to and using that is the most effective, that is the least harsh on your gear, but yet still cleans up the garments the way they should be, are products from Nick Wax. And um, today we're going to be looking at the Tech Wash, which is generally what you use in your washing machine. And there's different instructions from Nick Wax depending on the type of machine or hand washing or whatever you're using with how much fluid you use. In this particular case, we're going to use front loader washing machine. It's like 3.4 ounces that they want you to put in the machine. And it's friendly for high efficiency washing machines, which we have here today, which uh, my personal opinion is I hate them because I don't think they do as good a job. That's why it's, it's important to have products like Nick Wax that are meant for this type of job. And then we're not going to overload it either. One of the things that I think we're all guilty of is overloading our washing machines and so there's not as much room for the washing machine to do its job because we have too many garments in there and so per the instructions on the Nick Wax we're going to actually only load two garments in there I've got a pair of pants that got really bloody from a recent deer hunt in Alberta Canada last week we're going to clean those up along with another probably top piece or something and then we're also going to look at how I finish up my game bag cleaning process and so just as a little side note, I usually hand wash those in cold water. Really, that's all you need to do. Um, but just to go the extra step to make sure I got all of the blood and contaminants from the game bag so that they're clean and ready to be used for the next hunt, I'll finish them off with an, some sort of unscented detergent. And especially in this case, the Nick Wax works really good. I say unscented because even the game bags that are meant to not hold in scents and other harmful chemicals that can taint your meat, um, just by the nature of doing it over and over again with these reusable game bags, you can do that. And I, I just cringe when I see guys using um, commercially made garbage bags to put their meat in because a lot of times those have a smell. Even if they're unscented, they have that plasticky scent to them that can really damage the taste of your meat. We go through so much to bring home good table fare for our families. I'm not going to put it in a garbage bag. I never do that. The only th time I ever do that is if... I have it in a game bag first and then put it in a bag to keep, if I have a pack that I don't want to get dirty or something, I'll put it in there. But largely, I'd rather just wash the pack up and what you can use Nick Wax for that as well, um, rather than deal with garbage bags. So, so we're going to look at that. And, and another side note, uh, they do have a uh, down wash that's wonderful for down uh, sleeping bags, down jackets. We're not washing any of those today, so we're not going to show that. But And they also have a way to revitalize some of the DWR finishes that are on a lot of the outdoor gear that we use today. And today we're going to be washing clothing from Sika. And we use a lot of different gear from Sika, many different layers depending on the season. And I've noticed it was some of the harsher chemicals I was using before, or detergents I should say, for cleaning up my gear, that it was breaking down some of the the cool features that Sika has on their gear or anybody, doesn't matter if it's Sika or anybody else, quicker than it should. And so again, I went back to using Nick Wax and uh, using uh, detergents that are meant for technical gear. We got a lot of people in our office that also ski. They have high-end ski um, equipment, snowmobiling, um, backpacking, whatever. Whether it's hunting gear, any outdoor gear, we spend a lot of money on our gear and there's no sense in you know, using and abusing it unnecessarily with chemicals. Um, we use it and abuse it enough in the field that we don't need to beat it up in the washing machine. And so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to uh, put 3.4 fluid ounces in this measuring cup, load the high efficiency front load washing machine, and let it do its thing. So you can see right there with this game bag, it's mostly clean. But I got a couple pieces that dried on there that are left and a couple stains, and that should take that right out. It doesn't affect the efficiency of the game bag but might as well get it cleaned up as much as we can and so the pair of pants that we're going to be cleaning up you can see i accidentally sat in a pool of blood from the deer that i shot when we were cleaning it up and they're pretty bloody and nasty so i'm not going to spray them i'm not going to condition them we're just going to throw them right into the washing machine and there that's one garment we're only going to put two garments in 
There's another pair of pants, the old, uh, the standby Sika 90 percenters that they don't even make anymore, but that was one of their original layers that I took with on this hunt. I'm gonna throw that in there, close it up. And you can see Nick Wax is just a open bottle that you pour in. It's, there's no special nozzle or anything on it. Between three and four ounces, about right there. As you can see the marker on it, we're about right for our fluid levels. Pour it in the detergent tray. And then we're going to select our washing cycle. Now one thing to keep in mind too, it depends on the garment that you're using for technical gear or down or whatever, what setting you're going to use on your washing machine. Most of the polyesters you're going to want to put on a permanent press. But if you have merino wool or some other delicate fabrics, just follow the manufacturer's suggested washing instructions because they all differ. And the more natural the fabric, even though they're tough long term, they last a long time with field use, you really got to be careful with how you're caring for them. Thankfully, merino wool is not like uh, traditional lamb's wool where it has to be dry cleaned. It can be machine washed, which is fantastic. But you still have to wash it on the right settings. If it's not super dirty, I'll do it on a delicate uh, setting, um, which usually for merino wool is fine. Otherwise, I'll do uh, kind of a sport wash if your washing machine has that, um, that option on there. And then after we get done washing, you can either put it in the dryer, which I'm standing beside uh, right here, or you can air dry it. I prefer to air dry all of my stuff um, most of the time outside. I think it uh, smells better, smells more natural. I mean, we can't ever completely eliminate our scent as hunters. So I try to minimize my scent if possible. And I'm naturally fresh anyway, so I smell so good for, for all of my hunting trips. Uh, but we try to minimize that, of course, with, with our laundry detergent. Uh, but anyway, you can, you can um, machine... Uh, dry it. You can air dry it. I prefer to air dry it and uh, and reduce any shrinkage. Even it just, in my opinion, machine drying things further beats it up. And I'm trying to, you know, our gear is really expensive. I mean, this particular uh, pair of pants from Sika, I think retails for $225. So if I'm spending $225 for a pair of technical pants, I'm going to go to the nth degree to try to protect that for field use for as many years as I can get out of that gear. Well, thanks for watching this tip and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check our blog for more helpful tips just like this to help you take care of your gear uh, so you have many, many years of use in the backcountry.